Welcome back to Simply Everybody. This week, we are going to be overhauling underneath my kitchen sink. If you're like me, it is a black hole. You can't find anything, and we need to make this space more accessible and light it up. Let's get into this. First, we always need to assess our space. So I took every product out. I measured as best as I could, getting the depth, the length of the cabinet space, the height that I had to work with as far as the door opening, and then how much width I had on each side because my cabinet has a style piece of wood in the center for support. Originally, I wanted to remove it, so I FaceTimed my dad just to see if that was feasible, and I'm glad I did because it was a big no. And that is why you call your dad. I would have just gone ahead and cut the style out, but he made a great point. We have a cast iron sink, and that's probably a structural integrity situation. So once I realized I couldn't take out the style, completely threw a wrench in my plans, um, I had to work with what I had. So whatever was going in the center had to be accessible from up top. I couldn't have a drawer. Once I was done measuring everything, it was time to start looking for products and sketching out how I thought I wanted this to work. Unfortunately, I have a ton of plumbing underneath of our kitchen sink. Like, more than I, I think is really necessary. I think we could have done a little bit better as far as sinking those pipes back. So I have to get two different size storage solutions for this area because the left side has less room than the right side. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew the pipes were gonna be in the way. I also came to the conclusion that I needed to maximize not only the vertical space that I had, but behind the cabinet door space as well. Before we installed these pull-out shelves, which you guys probably saw in my kitchen organization video with the cabinets and the drawers, I'm a huge fan of these. They come with templates and they come in a lot of different sizes and variations. What's also nice is that you can do them left or right side. You don't have to buy separate products. You can just buy the one and have it fit to whichever side you want. I did get two different sizes to work with the variating sizes from the pipes that are blocking a lot of space on the left and it has a vertical shelf as well, which is great, so we have even more storage. I will say that these are super simple, and even if you're not super comfortable with power tools or you haven't built many things, these are very user-friendly to install. Once you have everything out of your space, you can put it into groups, figure out what you may not need anymore. I definitely found some products that I know I didn't put there. I also keep finding products that I said we weren't gonna be using anymore just because of chemicals and Kyle has been sneaking them in here. Ugh. What I like to do is group my products in categories or by uses. That way everything kind of has a zone when we go to put it back. One of my favorite, most versatile products from this project was the 3M adhesive towel bar. This thing is so great because it fits perfectly behind a cabinet door and it comes in different finishes and you can use it for a lot of different things, whether you want to just hang a dish towel over top of it or take it a step further and get some coordinating S hooks. So that way you get a little bit more space and functionality if you have products that have either a hole to hold it on, a string, a grommet, you can use it for your dish brushes, your cleaning gloves. It has a lot of different uses. I also love adhesive bins. I have used them in a lot of different projects as well. And whenever you're installing something behind the cabinet door, you wanna make sure that you can still close it when the product is in there. So before I adhered it to the back of the cabinet, I just kind of held it there with my hand and went around the cabinet, closed it, and just held it there to make sure that we weren't interfering with our already installed pullout system. This is perfect for holding a variety of different cleaning tools. I have some of our dishwashing brushes and toothbrushes because I love using a toothbrush to get into those nitty gritty areas when we're cleaning faucets and grout and things like that. I kept it super simple for the other side of the cabinet. This was the perfect spot to put our Swiffer duster and our dustpan because those things always seem to get thrown to the back of the cabinet. I chose a 3M hook that could easily be rearranged, removed, and it won't peel the paint off. You can actually get adjustable 3M hooks now, which is awesome. And if you choose one with a smaller hook, most of your products will probably fit on it better. However, I took it a step further and wanted to tie some 
twine around it so it could hang on a nice little loop. Now, as far as light goes, and I said this in the beginning, it's a black hole in there. I found some puck lights that are also just a self-adhesive. They have a 3M backing, but these are super special because they just lightly tap on and tap off. I installed them on each side and then in that handy dandy style that I wanted to remove before. So I can see the entire cabinet all lit up. It's amazing, especially if you feel like you have a leak, something spills in the cabinet and you wanna be able to really see what's going on back there, tap these on and you have a full range without having to get in the back of your cabinet with a flashlight. Now I had mentioned that I needed something that was top loading and easy to access because we have the style in the middle of our cabinet and I don't have a lot of room. So I found some vertical acrylic bins that are perfect for holding our cleaning towels. This is also a great way to save space because previously I had my cleaning towels, my dish towels, tea towels, all of that in one cabinet in our kitchen. And now that I've divided it up, it's just a little more organized. Originally, I wanted two of these bins so I could store our dishwashing pods. However, I didn't have enough space, but I did find a smaller top opening bin. They come in a pack of two. So I was like, I will definitely find use for the second one. And it's stackable. So if I needed to, I could stack them on top of each other. And this one ended up just fitting right on the pull out shelf. So it was perfect. I also needed a container for my baking soda. The baking soda has one of those flap openings and it tends to go everywhere. So not only for storing, but also just using, I needed something a little cleaner. I ended up using the other acrylic top opening bin for holding our funnel and essential oils for when I make cleaning products. I am so thrilled with how this turned out. It looks so much more systematic and functional and beautiful and clean. It's not overcrowded. And that's pretty much everything I had in there before, including a few other new things like the bin for the essential oils and some new brushes. And I feel like I still have more room if I needed to add anything else. It doesn't feel cluttered at all. I hope you guys took some tangible tips away from this video that you can apply to your own home. I would love to see some of your recreations. Definitely tag me on Instagram at Haley Cairo so I can see what you guys are up to. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Simple's YouTube channel so you never miss an episode of Simply and we'll see you in the next one.